Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy! In the last episode we defeated the boss in Honey Hive Galaxy and completed that. In this episode we are going to... which one is... I think we're supposed to do this one first. We're doing this one first, the Loop the Loop Galaxy. This is gonna be suffering for me, so... I hope you guys like suffering, because that's what it's gonna be. Nothing more, nothing less. Surfing 101. As a, chi as a child, I had a lot of difficulty with this. Absolute fuckload of difficulty. Am I still gonna have difficulty with this? It's supposed to be very, very difficult. Everywhere on the internet, people find this difficult, so... I don't know. I'm guessing it's gonna be very difficult. Are you a surfer too? Uh, yeah. I have to, right? Oh, but this is your first time surfing, right? Uh, race surfing, right? Well, let me show you the ropes. Now, let me explain. Point your uh, Wiimote at the screen. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's the basic position. Turn left and twist right uh, from the starting position. Correct, that's how you turn left. Turn right by twisting to the right. That's how you turn right. Then all you need to do is hold A to speed up. Yeah, this you can't fall off yet. I'm gonna take this easy, by the way. I'm not going to go on top speed if I don't have to. Which I don't think... Are you on a timer? I don't think you're on a timer. I'm actually doing quite well as far as coins go. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the practice part. Oh, I think you have to beat the uh, 130. So you are on a timer. But I don't think it's too difficult to get 130. I don't think this is too long of a track, but... There's a more difficult version of this later on, I think. And that's gonna be quite the horrible experience for me. But so far I'm not doing too badly. I mean, I'm not doing great either, but... Because I'm having a bit of difficulty turning and almost falling off. By the way, if you fall off, you die. Thought I would just mention that. <laughs> this is really awkward doing this during recording. <laughs> Because I can't hit a microphone, obviously, so I have to watch out where I put my Wiimote. But I think we're almost there as well. Wow. Yeah. I must admit I like the sections where you're falling. I don't know why, I just do. Oh no, don't fall off, don't you fucking dare fall- That's it already? This is the end? We did it in a minute and three seconds, almost. In one go? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, but I like it. You deserve a gold medal, which is a power star. Who would have thought? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know it'd be a power star. No, obviously I didn't. Backflip. Spin. Let's try that again. No, we're, we're going to do some proper platforming. Backflip, spin. Good. That's how you do it. You backflip, spin into the star. So, now the next one. I think the next one is easier. It may be a different one, I remember. I think the next one is easier. But if I'm... I'm unsure as to what one uh, the other question mark block is. Because if it's one of the two I'm thinking about, it's really easy. But you've discovered an enemy base in the region. We can uh, go and hope to find a poor grand star. Well, we're not going to do that anytime soon yet. Well, actually... Rather soon. Next episode, probably. So, this one over here. Yep, this one. It can be one of two galaxies. And if it's the one I'm thinking about, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. If it's the other one, it's going to be easy. And I'm not a good at galaxy. I've already completed that. And it is... Oh, it's the easy one. Thank Christ. <laughs> it's the easy one. We're all good. We're all good. It's the easy one. Painting the yellow planet. The planet yellow, same thing. Other than the fact that it's actually opposite. Because now we're painting the planet yellow and otherwise it would have already been yellow and we had to paint it. How to even English? I don't know. So yeah, this is rather easy. People have a lot of difficulty with this apparently. I don't know why. The only thing you have to do is step on everything once. If you step on it again, it'll go back to blue. And there's like three sides to this planet. 
it's honestly not that big a deal. Only thing which is a bit tricky is this jump right here. Never mind, I did it. Yep, yeah, goop, jump over that, jump over that. Disable that, goop. And that's already the second phase done. And there's the third one, which is admittedly, I think, the difficult one, but nope, we're done. That's it. That's this power star done. Yeah, the next galaxy we're gonna do though is gonna be a bit more difficult, so don't worry. It's not all gonna be this easy. <laughs> God damn it. I would like to get all my stars with spins. I don't know why. Just feels fitting to me. So we've got about 10 minutes to do the next star, and if that is actually uh, as easy as these two, which it won't be, we'll also do the bulls in this episode. Which means that we're going to make a good amount of progress. But three stars a video, maybe four stars in some videos. Seems about right. I don't want to save my game. I really don't. So if you go back out here last episode, we heard something about a hungry loom appearing here. Why, hello, how are you doing? Hey, you, you've got tasty star bits. If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I will burst in snacky happiness and then transform. If you famish, I will have 400 star bits. So aim this at him, give him 400 star bits. And that's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go, transform! And he transforms into an entire galaxy. And I think it's not too bad, I don't think. I think it's not easy either, but I don't think it's too damn bad. Later Hungry Luma galaxies are hell. Well, this game is not as difficult as Mario Galaxy 2 is. Mario Galaxy 2, at least a 100 percent did. Quite crazy, quite crazy, especially the last level. You have a dead level one, which means you only have one HP of a very, very difficult level, which... If I ever come around to let's play Mario Galaxy 2, I probably won't do that. <laughs> because it's hell. Actually hell. Also, this is rather... Annoy- <laughs> Really? What are the odds of that happening exactly in the triangle? Not even just like glitching through it almost. No, just exactly in the triangle. That would happen. Exactly in it. It's... Oh no, no. I've got plenty of coins here at least, which is a good thing. Okay, I, I was gonna say, not happening again. I don't know how that happened, but I'm glad it did. So that's the difficult part, you would think. No, uh, that's actually the easy part. I was gonna say that was the difficult part, but yeah, you have to run into some kind of current. But then again, this is easier. Or is it? But damn it. Long jumping is really the best way of doing this. Yeah, long jumping really is a great way of doing this. And this is actually not too bad, believe it or not. Yeah, that is not too bad. If you concentrate and don't talk, which is what you're supposed to do in a Let's Play, talk. Hmm. Didn't think about that for a second, but I, at least I did that part. And this part, it's not too difficult either, because... Um... You only move on top of- No! Oh, God damn it! I thought I would have an amazing save there, but I didn't. I think it's actually a checkpoint right here, right? Yeah, good. This is actually not too difficult of a part, because... You only move on one plane. So it's not like I have to think about different things. But as I say that, I die twice here, so... Don't listen to me, guys. Don't listen to me, because I am stupid. There's a one up there, there's a one up there, there's a one up there, there's a one up! There's a one up that's gonna kill me, probably. Uh, I wanna take the one up though. Even if I die because of it. Does that make any sense? No. Do I care? Not really. And this is already the end of the stage, but this is the difficult part. Oh yeah, also taking all the star bits here may be a good idea. Can I center the camera for a second? I can't, okay. Jump on those little cake things. This... Galaxy makes me quite hungry, actually. 
Oh, oh, that was the, that was the best save ever. Okay, I totally deserve a prize now. The power star is good enough there. Power star is way good enough. Hey, we're going back. Apparently we are. Oh, I didn't get that one with a spin. It was really close to the ground there. I'll give it that much. I'm going to have to do the Bowser stage as well. Wow. All right. Um, I didn't expect to have to do that. And that is the 10th star. So we're a 12th the way done. And this is episode 4. So it's going to be about 50 episodes by that logic. Could be, could be true. Could be true. Could very much be true. Also, the Toad ship is done now. So let's go talk to them. Let's go talk to them Toads. Because we've got plenty of time anyway. Also, cars outside. Are you finished building this uh, star from ship? We'll use it to search for power stars. And we, the members of the Toad Brigade thing, will be brave crew. And the Brigade will, will be huddled leader. So I know it well, I'm me. And my commander galaxies will be see a brave Toad Brigade. So what is the exact use of that? I don't know. Not much, at least. Oh, yeah. Uh, infinite one up there, pretty much. Every time you uh, exit the stage. Hi there, Mario. Our bodies and the garage want to tell you something. Is it somebody else who wants to tell me something, perhaps? Maybe the one with the glasses. The one with the glasses seems unique as well. That one seems boring. Talk. So I guess this place is some kind of mobile observatory controlled by Rosalina Lady. But who exactly is she anyway? She's not a witch. Is she? Is she? Now that's ridiculous, right? We must build a uh, mushroom starship to, uh, just to look like us. We finished our starship. We call it the Starshroom. What even is this in that case? I don't even care. I don't even care. So let's go to the Bowser thing, I suppose, because otherwise this episode's going to be way short. Because everything else in this galaxy has been done, right? That one's done, that one's done, that one's done. As you may be able to tell, actually, these ones, uh, we got a little message saying Galaxy Complete, but these ones we didn't. And I've been saying for the time being we're done with these ones. So yeah, we're going to have to come back to them eventually. But we'll discuss that when it's relevant. Also, the fact that these things are rotating is kind of annoying. Oh, you can do that. I completely forgot you could do that. Bowser Jr.'s Robot Reactor. And that's going to be the thumbnail of this video now. Because I wanted to do the Hungry Luma thing. But obviously, a boss fight is more important. Magalag's Moon. This boss fight is actually awesome. This is Great boss design. I also don't get why we get sent to this moon right over here rather than to the boss immediately because the boss is literally like two, uh, two feet away from us. Oh, damn it. You see, we get damaged in the process. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. You're Goombas? You're Goombas? All right, you're Goombas. Oh, you fall into the black... Goomba being specific. We got a fight, I think. It's it's we got a fight, right? Yeah, it is. It's what happens when you go into a black hole? You got spaghetti fight. I'm not making this up. I swear, that's what it's called. Actual scientific term. Spaghetti fight. One up. I like my one ups. Where's the launch starts? All the way over there. I have to guide a bullet bill all the way over there. Damn it. No! Oh, I was gonna say, don't fly over it! That's not what you're supposed to do! Oh, Starbits! Starbits! Give me the Starbits! Give me Starbits! Couple of Starbits! And that's everything you have to do, and then you get to the boss fight. Yeah. So I've got about four minutes to beat this boss. Am I gonna be able to do that? Yeah. Wow, you made it! But even I won't I need my dad's help to take care of this. Go out and Magalax! Stumble them with the power of your grand star! Well, in that case, if you are so sure about your magal- Oh! That is big! That is very, very big! It may be as big as having its own gravitational pool. Yeah, 
That's what I mean with great boss design. You actually have to climb him. And when you climb him, the things go red and they're like, Intruder alert! Intruder alert! It doesn't say Intruder alert, that's what I'm saying, but... Yeah, you see this platforming on the boss, it's that big. It actually is quite the amazing boss. But yeah, it can be rather difficult at times to maneuver his legs. But as I said, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite boss fights, if not the favorite boss fight in Mario Galaxy ever. It's better than all the Bowser fights. <laughs> That's for sure. We'll get to the Bowser fights when we actually fight Bowser. The Bowser fights are eh, not that interesting. Also, the music is great. Um, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, like, shut up for a second now. Because copyright and Nintendo, you guys know that. But yeah. Music is quite quite great here. Oh, so, what you, need, what you have to do now is quite um, the annoyance. You have to lure the little Biddles by standing down here. You have to lure them up. Break a fence. No, break a fence. God damn it, break a fence already. Break a fence. You didn't even break a fence. Good. So, you want to make him break a fence. And then you want to guide a bullet bill into there, which... Before the fans go back up, because they actually go back up, the fences. Like that, exactly, yeah. So, having two bullet bills chase you isn't a bad idea, per se. But having them really close to you, both, is a bad idea. Oh, come on! And now the fans are probably gonna go back up any second, yeah. So, lost through the fans. Can we please do this today, if all possible? That's the annoying part about this boss. Uh, that's not well designed. Well, I don't know if it's a design issue, but it's... Really are uh, kind of broken to a certain extent and difficult. It's mostly too difficult. I would dare say You know oh, Damn it. I'm gonna die as well in a second At least I've got one fans up. Okay, come over here bullet bill. Come over here. Don't I've got non fences up So we are screwed Only for this boss fight, I wouldn't be able to speedrun this again. Oh, no. God, no! Oh, that didn't kill me! I don't know how that didn't kill me, but it didn't kill me. Also, I don't have to keep on running if the, all fences are up, because all fences are up anyway. So I may as well just take this bullet bill right here. Use it to break a fence. Take this bullet bill right here. No. I would broke a fence as well. I thought it was going to break the, the thing. Alright. Uh, not the fence. Uh, the cage. That's what it's called. And I got it. Good. That wasn't easy. <laughs> and then the thing just explodes. With Mario on it. That should have killed me by all... By all accounts, that should have killed me. <laughs> just saying. And that is Grand Star number two. We've officially completed the first world of Mario Galaxy. Kinda. And with that, the sun grows a little bit in the center, and we get access to the second dome, which is the fountain. <laughs> and we get the ability to sneeze. Yeah, that's it's a thing, uh, the ability to sneeze. And uh, Mario can now sneeze. Discovered a new galaxy in the fountain. Actually, I'll discover two galaxies. The ball of flame representing the power of the observatory, we call it a beacon. When you recover a ground star, a little power star um, will be restored. 
That does not make any sense. And the beacon will grow because the normal power stars don't do that. In the common observatory, I use the power to fly through the universe. Once all of the power stars and power is restored, we can even fly to the center of the universe. Well, oh. Ow! Oh, the power is uh, in a new dome! Ah, uh, yeah, fountain, I know. Nearly open dome is called a fountain. It's really quite you know, relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? There's information about the galaxies and the domes there. I, I know. Don't have to tell me. I would like to save... Yeah, I would like to save my game. So, until the next time, do not forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video, which you hopefully did. This is the map right here, by the way, they're talking about. Until the next time, I have been Vlogger, you've been awesome. If you enjoyed this video, you can share it on social media. You can follow me on my social media, as always. Until the next time, I have been Vlogger, you have been awesome. Bye.